Hello everyone, this is Quantum Guruji and today we are going to learn about how to clean the surface in Visual Studio. Okay? So in the beginning what we can do is we will make one atomistic this uh, file and in this we can you know import one of the uh, pictures or uh, sorry the input geometry. Suppose uh, I am going to take some of the structures like uh, We'll take some of the examples from the metal oxide or something. Structure and from the metal oxide. And suppose from here, just anything, whatever you wish. This is just an example to just see uh, and they learn about, about this. Claiming the surface. So, suppose for time being, I have taken anything about for this CO2. Anyway. Okay, so this is the CO2 or lattice go to the display menu and there you make this pole and stick model okay so this is your lattice now okay now what you need to do is suppose you need to clean this surface by 111 so generally miller indices will be given like 110 surface 111 surface 100 surface 0 11 surface so those thing will be given okay and like suppose we don't know how to find out this which surface is more you know reactive so in that case what you can do is one by one you just clean the surface and optimize the geometry and find out the minima so whatever is coming to be minima will be favored for the reactive like for the other reaction purpose so suppose for this specific material just assume the surface that you want to clear is 110 surface okay so we'll go to the build menu and there we'll go for the surfaces here you have a menu of cleave surface just click on the cleave surface and there you see this cleave part so this is the miller indices that you need to provide here suppose you need to break this 110 surface or whatever surface so i gave this 110 surface okay and this is the thickness of seat okay so the value whatever you find like good you can give it if you know else you can go with default and just click on cleavage okay once you have done the cleavage, you will see that the plane will be constructed. Okay. Once your plane is ready, what you need to do is the next step: right click, display style, and just increase. See, now you have just in the two dimensions because you have cleaved the surface, right? So you just increase and just see. So you can see this lattice. Okay. After this, what you need to do is you need to create a vacuum layer, right? Because this is your two dimension seat. So after that, you just go to the wheel and go to the crystals and there you can see build vacuum slab and there you can give a vacuum slab of around 10 angstrom 15 angstrom generally 10 is enough so we will give 10 angstrom thickness see the thickness depends on the you know interaction between the layers okay so generally we assume that 10 or to 15 angstrom is the minimum so that there is no interaction between layers so i prefer 15 angstrom and i'll click on the build so you can see our lattice is here Okay. Now go to this lattice parameters from advance. I'll set the origin to be zero. Now our origin is here. Okay. Now you can see this is our material, and the next material will be here. Like the next layer will be here. So this is the one one zero surface of Cu two. Similarly, you can create any surface that you want for your calculation okay so this is the basic way to create uh, surface in uh, metal studio suppose sometime you may see the uh, indices may not be miller it may be in four digit like zero 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 one or one 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 so in that case what we need to do is we have to convert that indices into miller indices okay in that case what you need to do is the third digit you need to skip and suppose it is one one zero one okay so in that case the third digit is zero so you can skip zero so the miller indices will be one 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 okay so like that you can find out the miller indices you have to convert them okay so you just try with this if you have any further doubt you can uh, put in the comment section and thank you for watching my video